Right, well now what we, we've chanced upon here is a uh, pine leaf G-bung. And uh, the pine leaf G-bung, you don't find it very often around uh, along the east coast of Australia, particularly along here, but you do find these lovely little dupes. They're beautiful little things. Something you can eat there. Give you a bit of a range of size. These little dupes here will actually develop larger. They'll go black eventually, and that's when they're ripe, and they're very lovely, they're succulent. They have a large seed inside them. Good bit of bush tucker. Characteristic pin leaf of the pinifolia, making it look like a bit like a pine tree. And the foliage itself is uh, very light, very dainty, very fine. And everywhere you have lots of these lovely little dupes growing as they call them, dupes or grapes is another word you could use for them berries, fruits all very good tucker now we'll try, uh, we'll just have a look at these little guys They're very tasty, quite a selection of them see if we can find a ripe one and uh, we'll have a bit of a taste they're all a bit young still uh, but here we go that's a fairly large one there. Very small little dupe, as it is. And what you can do with that is you can actually pull apart there. Very succulent, see all the moisture coming out of it. Good source of water as well. Yeah, they're a bit sour at the moment. Certainly need another couple of months to grow, but generally very tasty, I must say. They certainly are when they get a bit older. And you can open them up. I don't know if you can see it in there. But there's a little seed popping its head up there now. And these tree, these uh, pine leaf G-bungs are very much treasured by the local bird life and the animals. They love to have a good feed out of them. But uh, a bit tangy uh, when they're still young. But good food source for the local Aboriginal people. They gather these and eat them with a whole heap of other berries and uh, different types of food that they would uh, be catching like kangaroos around this area, swamp wallabies, uh, goanna, snakes everywhere, there's black snakes as well as brown snakes, big concentration of brown snakes in this area, cane fields all around us in the Kingscliff uh, uh, Kujin uh, food basin as it's called, one of the last remaining food basins on the east coast of Australia where it's uh, virtually all zoned uh, for agricultural uh, they produce a lot of sweet potatoes, a lot of the commercialised crops. But back in the old days, they had the old pine leaf G-bung, the banksia. They had lily pilly, which we'll go and have a look at in a little while, a second. As well as the white aspen. Very tasty. All on this lovely, beautiful pine leaf G-bung. Beautiful. Good tucker.